What's going on? It's Ben here from Flick, and in today's video, I'm gonna help you get up and running using Flick's mobile app to level up your Instagram strategy all from your phone. So by the end of this video, you will know about all the different tools that Flick provides to you in the palm of your hand to help you crush it on Instagram. So let's get right into it. Really quickly, if you're brand new to Flick, here is the only introduction you'll ever need. Here at Flick, we are obsessed with helping you execute your Instagram strategy faster, easier, and all while getting better results. And to do that, we provide our users with a ton of tools to give them as much information as possible to make the best decisions on Instagram. And these tools include a ton of different hashtag tools to help you find the right hashtags for your account, save the hashtags for later use, help you avoid using banned or restricted hashtags, as well as recommend tags specific to your account and your situation that will likely work for you. And while many people know us for our hashtag features, we also provide a bunch more, like our very easy to consume and growth focused analytics suite that provides you with a ton of tailored information specific to your account and your performance to help you make better decisions and outline opportunities for improvement. And we even provide analytics beyond just your account using a new tool called Open Benchmarks. And with this tool, we compiled data from over 50,000 different Instagram accounts to help provide some context to how your account stacks up to other accounts of similar size. And this tool is also completely free for anyone. And we did a full walkthrough of it here on YouTube. And it's linked in the card above if you wanna watch that after. But we're also huge in providing the knowledge on how to best use our tools, as well as just Instagram in general. General. So we're constantly providing free resources over on our blog here on YouTube, which you're watching right now. Don't forget to subscribe as well as exclusive content for Flick users, helping them best use our tools and then just Instagram in general. And a feature that's coming very soon that we're very excited about is very soon you'll be able to schedule out your content within Flick. So very soon you'll be able to do basically anything you could want to when it comes to executing an Instagram strategy all in one place, all in Flick. And while today we're walking through the mobile app, Flick also does have a desktop version, which we've already done a walkthrough of here on YouTube. And that is also linked in the card above for you to watch after. So let's hop right into my phone and walk through the Flick app. All right, so we're into my phone right now. And this is the app you will see right here. It's called Flick Hashtags. Go find that in the app store, download it. If you don't have an account already, you will need to make one. Don't worry, we have your back. If you use the link down below in the description box or the pinned comment, you can get yourself a free week trial of Flick to try all the different services that we're gonna walk through today in this this video. So after you've done that and you've connected it to your Instagram account, you'll be able to do everything that I'm going to walk through. So this is what you'll see at the homepage of the app. Right at the top here, you're gonna see your search bar for hashtags. So this is the hashtag research tool that I mentioned earlier. And there's a ton of different features built into this to really help you make the best decisions for your hashtags on a consistent basis. If you look below here, you're gonna see your collections. This is where you can save and store your hashtags. And within these collections, you can name them whatever you want. You can also change the icon to help you easily identify which grouping is which. And then so from here, you're gonna see A to Z. These are all the different tags that you've made, all the different collections of them. And then you can go to favorites. So if there's one that you use a lot, you can save it as a favorite. And there's also smart collections. So these are collections made for you by Flick based on all the information that we're collecting on your account and your account's performance using hashtags. So here you're gonna see three different groupings, hashtags used, which is exactly what it sounds like. You're gonna see recently ranked on. So these are the tags that, as you'd probably suggest, or as you think, recently ranked on tags, 89 of them here. And then top performing is the third grouping. So these are gonna be your heavy hitters, your best performing tags, which can really give you a ton of information. It's great to know this so that you know which ones to go back to because they're working and it's proven to be working. So let's start doing some hashtag research using this app. So to start doing that, you can either click the search bar, which will then pop it up, or you can click the little magnifying glass in the bottom here as well. Both will do the same thing. After you've done that, it's gonna pop up a few different things. If you've typed things in in the past, it'll show you your recent, as well as suggestions that Flick is populating for you based on your account and your content. So for this example, let's say we're posting a picture of a building. So I'm gonna go with architecture. So if you start typing this in here, it's going to populate other suggestions for you that you could then go with if it made sense or if it didn't. I typically like to start my hashtag research off with a pretty broad hashtag or keyword and then work downward from there based on suggestions. So if we just type in architecture and then click search, it's going to do its magic. And then here it's suggesting 39 different hashtags. And what's so great about Flick is it's going to populate them into low, medium, and high competition tags. And this is valuable for you to know because it helps you put a group of tags together that are not only just relevant to the content, Content, but also a good mix of low, medium, and high competition to help you get as much momentum for your content as possible. So from here, you can just select tags by 
just tapping the box right here. And as you can see, that number is gonna go up down below here. So let's do city photography. Let's say it's in Canada, so Canadian architecture photography, so on and so forth. So you can continue to do this and the number will keep going up. But the awesome thing about Flick is as you're doing your research, let's say one of these suggestions gave you an idea or you thought of a different keyword. You can then just click new search. So let's just say building. That's what we'll say. It's again, short and broad, we'll work down from here. Once you type this in, it's gonna suggest a new grouping of tags. There may be some overlap, but it will be now based off of the new term. And then here you can actually bounce back and forth very easily from all the different searches you're doing by just tapping on the top of your screen here, building, and it will show you architecture as well as building. So you can really hop back and forth easily to put a group of awesome tags together that are all relevant and a good mix of low, medium, and high competition. So let's just select a few more tags here for the sake of this example. I definitely recommend you taking a little more time and going through this and being far more strategic and thoughtful with the tags and keywords that you're using. But just for the sake of this example, I just wanna show you how to use the app. So let's say, okay, we got five here. Obviously you'd wanna go for up to 30 relevant hashtags every single time. But once we've got the group we want together, if you just tap this number right here at the bottom of your screen, that's gonna give you an audit tool. Simply it'll pop it up and it'll show you there's no banned hashtags. You have one low, two medium, two high. It's gonna give you a full breakdown of the tags that you've selected to this point. And then you can either copy the hashtags, which you can copy to clipboard and then paste them somewhere, or you can add to a collection or you can clear the entire list. So for this example, let's walk through how to create a collection. So let's do this. We'll make a new collection. We'll call it building for Flick Mobile. Okay, and then we can click done and then save. Okay, so that has now been saved to our collection. So if we go over into collections and we go to A to Z. So as you can see right here, your collection is already there for you and it has all the tags that we selected during our research process. So if you tap open to that, you'll see them all here, but you can also change this list over time if you so choose. So if we were to go back to the search process, let's select just a few more here. Let's do city view, okay? And then if we were to tap open that number and then we can add it to a collection, we could then add it directly to that list that we had just made. So building, click mobile, boom. Now they've been added to that collection. So you can constantly be reiterating this list, making it more specific to each piece of content, but it gives you a great easy place to store the hashtags and also monitor the hashtags over time, which is what Flick will do for you automatically. So you will know exactly which tags are working and which ones aren't. So you can constantly be improving your hashtag strategy using Flick. If you're enjoying this video or you're looking to grow on Instagram, don't forget to subscribe to this channel because we post weekly videos all about doing that. And while you're at it, don't forget to tap that like button down below so you can easily find this video if you ever need it again. So that's how you conduct hashtag research and save them into collections within the app. Now let's check out the analytics suite. So if you just tap this little bar graph right here in the bottom right, that'll bring you into your analytics. And so from here, it's gonna give you a top-down view of your account. And you can sort all these numbers to whatever time period that you're trying to look at. So the default's gonna be the last seven days, but if you just tap that little arrow, you can change this time period to whatever you're feeling. And then here it's gonna show you a few important growth metrics, as well as a breakdown of each piece of content and how it performs. So it'll show you how many tags you ranked on, as well as the engagement, and you can click through and to get more and more content as to how the account actually did, as well as to see the specific tags that were ranking for that post. And also Flick will tell you the best time to post for this specific day right here so you have that information at your disposal so you don't have to go searching for it. And you're not limited to just the posts that you can see right here. You can click see all posts and that will expand to far more of your content and give you a ton more information for each one of them. So you can see your engagement rate, the amount of reach, as well as the hashtags ranked on and used. And you can click open for even more information specific to that account right here. So all of this information will help save you a ton of time figuring out which tags are working versus which ones aren't, as well as seeing what kind of content is working versus which isn't. So we're really giving you as much information as possible to make the most informed decisions to really optimize your time and use of Instagram. So that was a walkthrough of the tools accessible within the mobile app. But like I mentioned earlier, we also have a desktop version that does have a little more functionality and we did a full walkthrough of that as well here on YouTube already. And that's been linked in the card above, so feel free to go check that out. Also, don't forget about all the free educational resources that Flick provides through our blog, here on YouTube, as well as the exclusive content and education material exclusive to Flick users. And content scheduling is coming very, very soon. So that was a quick walkthrough of Flick's mobile app and all the different things that you can do within it. So if you have any questions, please let us know in the comment section down below and one of our team members will get back to you as soon as possible. Keep crushing it on Instagram. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.